guys welcome this is unfinished i am your host sk gitonga thank you for joining today we are celebrating international world youth day and we are talking about youth digital pathways to sustainable development which takes us to our first question do you think youths are well represented in today's government let me know what you think in the comment section <laughs> yenye ile cabinet yenye government aliweza kutengeneza president unapata youth ni mmoja na atuko shua kama kwa hiyo miaka au wengine wote ni wazee wako ambao 50 so according to me hapo 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 hakuna with the new cabinet reshuffle that uh, the president has uh, enacted i can only see youth being represented by one guy that was the minister for water and sanitation but apart from that uh, there's no enough representations of the youth in the government and also this indicates what the current government thinks of the youth in terms of where the country is headed and what sort of leadership traits are being you know shown by the government in terms of youths being given a chance in leadership and also in transformative processes of the government yeah so the representation is quite low i would give it about three percent of the entire cabinet not even two, three, I think one percent. So it indicates clearly the youths are less represented in the government. And with also my experience visiting government offices as well, from let's say the receptionists to even the CEOs and the, the managers, the youth representation is quite low. So this does not give us a bit of faith towards where we are headed as a country and how the youths are being integrated within the government in all forms, whether it's civil service, or any form of governance. When you look at the kind of uh, people who are in power right now, they are not youths. And if they are youths, there are very few youths who have no who have no voice. Yeah. Even if there's something that is stable, they definitely they will be overshadowed, overpowered by the senior citizens. For now, kuna representation like in Ayuko Yani Ayuko Levolino and the small water co represented. Kosabu our leaders to make a guani wazetu. Akuna youth sapu mi wezi ni ambeti ruto ni youth. Ruto aka youth. Like he's the age of my grandpa. Aezi kuwa youth. Youth inataka, ukisawa kusema youth wako represented. Labdu semo nyako government ni wanyako in their early 20s, late 20s to 30. Na ukiangela government almost 90% of the politicians wako age 60 and above. Na ruto mwenye alisema kama uko age 60 and above, una retire. Na bado kwa government yake kuna wanyako iyo. Sasa, mm -mm. youths are not well represented. Uh, if you look at the representations, like uh, people in the government are uh, a bit older, like from 35 to you no know, 40. So, uh, and uh, we are not really well represented. Majority of the government is economic. Like people are already older. I'm out there. The, how can I youth? Like there are few, and so our representation is very limited. But yeah, they are well. I ain't got no reason, but. Just like for, for us, like you, we got a right to do anything, you understand? Just like us, just, yeah. I think well represented because the Nyadi government is not to skizi, but I to do a kiviao, I want to do a chini, I want to do a good uh, discussion, my conversation, no, no. So, I uh, can decide to say that I want to do a good discussion, and I want to do a good days ago. Okay, me in the base, kwa ile talent base, ju, some people like us, who okay, vote chini, casting models, and some people who are sabawan, kulunga lunga. Yeah, kuna talent mingi sana, kuna football, kuna wengine wana do music, kuna wengine spoken word artists and the rest. And still the government, I take to listen, yeah, it be more enough support than you sit nafa. So na pata tu ingine wana na hii kai lipi wanaenda kuwa wanavuta bangi and the, at the end wana kufatu bila kujulikana. Well, no. There is an influx of majority of the people in the government. They are, they are not the youth, they are old people. Yeah. And I think it's about time for them to step down. Uh, apana wako well represented ju size vile tunaona wale mawaziri ambao wameteuliwa kuna youth tu pale mmoja sa hiyo inaonyesha kabisa they are not well presented yeah uh, according to me 
uh, it's not they are, they are not well represented when you see them on the streets you know trying to protest against the government it's a sign that they feel that like they are not well represented because if they were they will not be in the streets yeah I don't think we have enough youth representing us in the parliament because we have very few numbers, but I feel like we can do better. We need people who are able to understand us according to our age group, which takes us to our second question. What challenges do you think the youths are facing in Kenya right now? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Same to job, because without job in this Nairobi, I'm a Maluko, you cannot do anything because for like we have so many youths when you are in jail, I want a job like uh, to say me to job domain uh, job because babu uh, unapata mtu mtu anakaa kwa office mpaka 60 years angoja retire na wewe saizi like ukiangalia saizi unapata so many youth when you wamemaliza shule hata ukiangalia hapa Nairobi utapata degrees ni mingi number 1 the, the the first challenge i would say is first the opportunities the youths who are graduating from the un universities and colleges there is no enough opportunities for them because the old are still sitting in offices and hence the youths who are supposed to at least kickstart the processes from university, there is no opportunity. And also, likewise, in terms of small market enterprises, money which is given for youths to also, let's say, open their own businesses, forge forward in terms of private uh, companies and also developing the economy, there is not much. So the youths access to resources and finance is also limited as compared to the old. Yeah, so the youth are not being trusted also in terms of you know, SME. Number one, an higher unemployment rate. Personally, what I can tell you that they're telling us their jobs. Those jobs they're giving us, they're jobs that some of us went to college, we have gone to universities, but you know, when someone tells you you have a job, jobs are not any soft skills. What's a soft skills? You need capital. For instance, starting a business, you need capital. No, so at the end of the day, it's just a cycle. So if they're saying they're creating jobs, let, let, the, let the jobs be real jobs. See, like some of them are jobs, maybe you find two, two days, three days, one week, then after some few days, few months, you are jobless. No, no, we will still go back to the same problem. First, the unemployment, it is very obvious. The rate of unemployment in Upper Kenya and you sana na among them is the youth. Mtu amenda university, I may spend four years, five years. I may spend almost a million. Less, less, like, pesa less mtu enza kwa may spend ni a million kwa fee. Mtu amuza shamba, amuza vitu zao zote. Loans, ukiingia kwa market, hakuna job market. Government ate makes slides zote za kutengeneza unemployment. Unemployment enye president amenda, amenda maju almost for a year. Amekua kizungu kafu. Uki, uki mwambia kwa accountable kwa pituita amenda kufanya. What he has to present ni ati. Amepata employment uko nini Gulf countries. So sikia Gulf countries watu wanasafa. Au so watu wazuru. Resizi muko yuko juu sana. Gulf countries kazi kuko ni kuosha nyumbo. Nona technician, carpenters, hizo. Alafu second youth wanasafa ni nini education. Education government imekua tikikata. Subsidies education na kate na kate. University fee imekua iki rise. Medicine sayin figure 600,000. 600,000 to anafanya medicine, seven years, sindio? Seven or six years, yoni almost, almost four million, ukiangalea na expenses zote za kuishi, almost four million. Ate mpita four million, ni imepita, imeenda juu sana. Na expenses za kuishi, afu kingia kwa market setekali, hakuna kazi, kipea kazi in tansa walipu. Pesa wanalipo ni kidogo, sana wezi niambia mtu amesoma na almost five million. Hakingia kwa job market, ate analipo 60,000 per month, it makes sense, na daktari. Na politician na naan one million. A politician, a to a fan. Yeah. Oh, the biggest challenge uh, youth, youths in Kenya are facing is uh, unemployment, because you find uh, a lot of the, we have a lot of graduates, you know, from all these universities, and uh, if you look at uh, the job market, uh, there are very slim or uh, limited opportunities for all these uh, learned uh, students, uh, any citizens, who are youths. Yeah. The rate of youth who employ you because the job opportunities are very few in this country. And you find that most of the, like, the high places where someone wants to get employed, they look at someone who has some experience. If someone amateur college, university immediately, where do you expect to get 10 years of experience from? 
you can't. Someone is just trying to go out there and learn, but then also the society judges youth for when it's more reckless. I'm a hard jailer enough. Yeah. Let me just say, for us, like group, we are banned by the way custom models. Just for us, like like group, we got like we got a bunch of songs, we got a bunch of albums, like we got everything. But just like we ain't got no studio to record, like we ain't got any management, any producer just to stand for us, just to manage to manage our music. So just like our music is just fading away, and we are we are not yet on the industry. So that's that's what influenced us, like youth, to start crying. You understand? So that, those kind of things. Um, good guidance, representation, and I guess I, sh I could also say drug and substance abuse. It's very prevalent among the youth. So easy challenge. Ya kwanza nukosefu wakazi. Sasa easy. Most of the youths are not employed. For example, me hapa nimemaliza kusoma but kupata ile kazi na kuwa ngumu ni lazima ukuwe na connection na kuna corruption hapo ndani. So hiyo ni challenge ya kwanza. They are not employed. Then kitu, kitu ingine enye wana face, uh, the, the job opportunities are limited. Unapata awa watu enye waku kwa maofisi, mtu akiritaya kutoka kwa ofisi fulani, anapewa kazi kwa ofisi fulani. Pia hiyo inaffect ina sana youth. Uh, one of the biggest challenges the, the youth are facing is unemployment. There, we have so many people who are well qualified for jobs, yet there are no jobs. So the way they can sustain themselves is a, a little bit tricky. So most of them are yearning to have at, at least a way of trying to sustain themselves. And so they are, uh, the job opportunities that are currently in the country are not sufficient to, uh, you know, they are, they are not sufficient to all of them. Uh, some of them have gone outside to look for jobs, yet they are coming back again. It's a sign that uh, the job market is, is saturated. Yet some of them are in school graduating each and every year. If they are doing those courses, some of the, them are doing technical courses, you know, and outside here there, there are no jobs, actually. That's what the government is not uh, putting across in a very good way. Some of the challenges that youths are facing in Kenya right now are unemployment. We have a lot of youths that are qualified to get jobs, but they're not getting these jobs because of corruption or something like nepotism. Another thing is um, high economy, which makes it very hard for people to afford the basic items, even with the little jobs that they have. And another thing is pressure from both their parents and society, the fear of not being able to make it at such a young age. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with two more questions.